it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the baby bin. So last time I gave them a good amount of melon in hopes that I would be able to capture some of the babies and get them moving on to another bin. So I'm going to start putting all the little worms that I find in this cup, and then hopefully we can encourage these castings to uh, finish up. I'm pretty sure that I put the melon on both sides. It wasn't that long ago. I didn't look at the video, but it's probably a week ago, two a week and a half. It's pretty sure that we'd still have whoops, there's a good size one. I thought I would still have melon left. I have underestimated the babies again, I think. Looks like I'm getting mostly reds and blues. Still got some good size ones showing up. They do like to be in the corners. So I'm just fish them out. I don't know. I might have to make up a, a bait container or something because these guys are so little it's hard to pick them out. But there's some. Still seeing quite a few cocoons in here. You guys are probably yelling at your TV or your phone going, you missed one, it's over there. I know, I always see them later. Okay, see, so this was the melon. And it's gone. Look at that, isn't he adorable? I'm not counting, so if you guys are counting, tell me how many I got. Some of them appear to be a good age, and other ones appear to have just hatched. So I think, even though it's been a couple of months in here, I think they are still hatching. I don't think these guys are just growing slowly. I think they're just hatching little bit by little bit. I know one of the books I was reading says that if they're not in an ideal condition, they can stay dormant for like half a year. I was trying to make this ideal in here so that they would hatch out. It's pretty, it's not completely wet, but certainly wetter than I would like it to be if I was planning on harvesting it anytime soon. But again, they've eaten all of their food. So I'm going to have to go get them something else. I really honestly thought I'd still find melon in here. There you go. Might as well take that old melon out. Oh, wait, there's one. All right. Well, I didn't bring any food down, so I think I'm just going to give them some worm chow. The babies will eat worm chow, right? Or rather, the microbes will, and the uh, isopods will eat worm chow. 
and then the babies can eat what's left over. I think also adding worm chow to this will probably help the moisture a little bit. Dry it out a little. Still finding some. It's like Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Okay, well that'll have to be enough excavating for today. Let's dump out the uh, the babies onto the cup and we'll see, or onto a plate, and we'll see what we've got. Well, let me know what you think I've got in here. How many worms do you think I've got? I think it was a pretty good haul this time. Alright guys, well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.